This is an air pump by AQQA. It's rechargeable. It will come on if the power is cut and it has a single outlet, 1.5 watt. Let's take a look. Okay, so let's have a look what we get in the box. So, it's actually supposed to be quite a good package, this, so I'm quite interested to see value for money. So, okay, let's get all that gubbins out. So, in the box, obviously you get a manual. It's in about 15 million languages, but you get the gist. Charging cable, very important. You do get some obligatory airline. It is a cheap quality. It's very creased in there. And one air stone, okay? I like the packaging on the unit itself. Let's put that to one side. So it's a one outlet. Unfortunately, it's inset, so that's gonna be quite difficult. Controls are very simple on this. So this is a rechargeable one. Um, you can actually use it in situ or yeah in situ or you can use it as when the power goes out this cuts in okay so you can use it both times which is quite good okay so we need to give it oh yeah so it's got a nice little charge on it it's got 75 percent according to this which is weird because it won't come on at all now but that's it you get that that and that this is a relatively cheap one so what i'm going to do is i'm going to get it into some water and we're going to see just how good this can be. Okay, let's get it wet. Okay, just a quickie. This is how you charge it. So at the end, it's a USB Type C, which Samsung. There you go. And we're going to let that charge for a little while, which I'll do off camera so you don't notice it. It's got some nice feet on it, and you can hang it, which is a good idea. So let's take a look and get it wet in a second. Okay, so I've got the kit, which is the stone and the unit itself with the airline put in there. Yeah, it's still charging, so, but we can use it off the main. So I've got the obligatory charger popped in. So if you hold it for three seconds, now I'm going to show you the water coming out. So one, two, three. Now that's on the minimum setting, okay? So, noise is coming from the bubbles, okay? And that's how much sort of air you're going to get out. Now let's turn it up by pushing this. Let's now flick it on 50% and that's 75. So you get the idea, that's 100% now. That's moving quite a lot there. So what I'm going to do is put a sponge filter on there so you can get an idea. But let me just clamp that. 100% it's not a bad hum at all, okay? But to be honest, put enough airline on this and you could put this unit outside if you wanted to. But the key idea of this is this. Let me turn it off. Right, completely off, yeah? Now, I'm gonna turn the power off. It comes on. So you could leave this literally running. And then when the power cuts off or and this is important, if you're moving fish, you could potentially use a sponge filter and keep the water oxygenated and clean while you're moving these. Now I've used something similar to this. So basically, let's turn it off again. You turn the power off, the unit comes on. Okay, that's why I like them. Unfortunately, when the power comes back on, but it stays on, but that's not a problem because in theory, you'd want it on. So I'm going to turn it off and I'm going to swap over to a sponge, well, a Hamburg Matten filter and we'll show you what it looks like with that. Okay, so on minimum settings we're getting that much flow. Let me turn it up. I'm going to put it on to maximum. As you can see, there's quite a lot more flow there. So the trouble is with these these units, they're not really meant for a continuous system, okay? Even though I believe you could probably use this as a continuous, right? They do have the intermittent button, okay, which turns it on and off periodically. But now it's making a lot more noise, all right? This would be perfect though if you're moving house or just as a backup, you know, if you get a, a power out, so let's turn it off. You get a power outage, 
it comes on, you're not going to lose fish or anything, okay? So, pros. The pros of this are obviously you're safeguarding your fish, you know. You could have a splitter on this, okay? You could have your main pump going, and you could have this as a backup, all into one connection, all into your filter, whips, whoops, twiddly D, power goes out, done. You're fantastic, yeah? It is a little bit noisy, but... If you put enough airline on this, you could put it in another room, you'd never hear it, especially if it's in a bedroom. You know, if it's in a bedroom, you could put it under your bed, you could put it anywhere you wanted and, you know, cover it up with socks and what have you. Just, I do like the idea of this. So, I'm going to do a test on this. And do it. We don't have a lot of power cuts around here, so I'll probably simulate that, but that's simulating it just doing that. I mean, that's going to go on for a while. And... Even without the mains pumping it, the battery's doing a good job. Okay guys, thanks for watching. Have a good day. Take care.